We're going to be talking about a very exciting report. In fact, it's so exciting. Uh, it's, it's actually named the Beige Book, as you can tell. I mean, you can't get a more exciting title uh, than that. And it may be one of the reasons why I think this is one of the most underemphasized announcements out there before it comes out and then is talked about like crazy after it comes out. But what is it and does it matter to us? Well, it, it does from a couple of perspectives. Now, the Beige Book is something that the Fed has been releasing to the public since about 1983. In fact, before that, it was called, it was internal use only, and it was called the Red Book. Now, they probably changed the title to avoid confusion with another uh, government's uh, published Red Book that uh, they would obviously want to avoid association with that. May, may a thousand uh, flowers bloom. But the whole concept behind the Beige Book is to give you an idea into what is the what kind of data or evidence is the Fed looking at. It lets you get inside the Fed's head a little bit. Now that may be kind of a scary thought, but it does give you access to a lot of the same information that they're looking at. So. Uh, for example, um, the, what the Fed really does is uh, they conduct these anecdotal surveys and they'll go to each one of the Fed districts in the United States. The United States is kind of chopped up into these districts and they'll ask business experts, they'll ask economic experts, market experts, business leaders, uh, bank managers, loan officers, their own employees, etc. What, what do they think about the economy? And then they summarize this information in a report uh, called the Beige Book. And which comes out, this is not coincidental, uh, two weeks prior to a Fed meeting. So it comes out eight times a year, just like the FOMC meetings. And uh, it's, it's a sneak peek into what's the sentiment like? Now, it, it's tough. I think traders have a hard time with this announcement before it comes out. And the reason why a lot of traders ignore this, this information before it comes out is because it's qualitative data. It's not quantitative. It's very difficult to take qualitative data, anecdotal information. It's very hard to quantify and to make decisions based on it. But it is important. Let me give you a couple of case examples. So when we're looking at the beige book between the July 07 release and the September 07 release, that was where we got a real shift in sentiment. So when you're looking at the beige book, you don't have to read the whole thing. It's basically got a, there's a summary, you can find it online. There's actually a link to it here in this article uh, that you can go check it out. As soon as it comes out, it's available. And uh, r really the first few paragraphs, or as I call them, the nut graphs there, will give you the essence of what is it that this report is all about? What are the big issues? Well, so let's go back to 07. So that July to September uh, break, there's no meeting in August. So July to 07 and all of a sudden, or July to, uh, to September, and all of a sudden in September, this is where we start to see negative verbiage in the beige book. And what happens? We get a rate cut. So a uh, similar situation happens. So uh, one that you may want to go check out is the uh, June 11th beige book of 08. And in this particular report, this is where we started seeing uh, inflation was all over those first paragraphs. So uh, uh, th this, is, this is where we won't, obviously it set the tone for what we started have been hearing about for the last month and a half. And what is the Fed concerned about? And subsequently, if the Fed is concerned in listening to reports of inflation, well, what happens with the subsequent FOMC meeting? Will they leave rates alone? So more hawkish than they'd been in recent times where they'd, we'd had this series of rate cuts. So what are we going to get this week with the Beige Book? Are we going to get uh, maybe even a change in tone, not just comments about inflation and growth risks, but if we get a change in tone, that's going to send the dollar bulls out there into the market because people are going to start to anticipate that the Fed may actually raise rates to try to fight inflation that they've been talking about since the June 11th report. So it gives us a little bit of insight into what kind of evidence is the Fed looking at? Uh, what kind of evidence are other traders looking at? You're going to see an explosion of news releases that come out after the, Fed, uh, after the Fed's Beige Book release that are analyzing it to death. So you'll kind of get a sense 
of, uh, of the what kind of buzz are we likely to see in the news and with traders? What are they going to be concerned about for the next two weeks as we get ready for that FOMC release? So a uh, big report, something we want to pay attention to. Now, how do we translate this into action in the Forex? Well, it's not it, because it's so uh, close to the Fed's release. Uh, it's, it is qualitative information. It's very difficult to say, well, okay, beige book date here, price movement uh, right from that date. But you can see something. So one of the things that the, the beige book will impact is trader sentiment about risk. And what market is very sensitive to risk? Equity. So when you're looking at the tier of markets that are affected by investor sentiment, risk, et cetera, equities are going to be up towards the top. Well, <clears throat> one of the things that we noticed when the uh, when this inflation report came out, so when the beige book came out with a concentration on inflation, we noticed that equity traders, they didn't like this very much because what happens when the Fed gets concerned about inflation? They're likely to raise rates. Well, if they're likely to raise rates, what happens to equity prices? They tend to, uh, unless the market is, unless the economy is in an expansion, you tend to get a little bit of a correction to the downside in uh, equities because the flow of capital shifts out of the riskier asset into safer assets. So if we were in an economic expansion, it wouldn't be as bad, but we're not in that situation. So we get traders starting to discount equities. Well, what currency pair is sensitive to that kind of information? the dollar yen or just the Japanese yen in general, which is very sensitive to uh, changes in investor sentiment about risk in general. So you can actually pinpoint June 11th's report with the top of the market in the dollar yen and it's something that we're going to be watching very closely uh, as that report, as the new report comes out to try to determine, well, are we likely stuck here on the dollar yen for the near term? Is risk still likely to be high? Are we looking at a possibility of a rate hike, which would be, uh, which would probably stunt equities, any correction in equities, and which likewise is going to strengthen the yen uh, as this risk correction continues? Or are we starting to see a little bit different information, a little bit different tone coming out of the beige book? But we want to watch it and then start to watch how the market responds to that. Are they beginning to discount that information into prices? And if so, it gives us a little bit of advanced warning into what the Fed itself is likely to do. Are they going to raise rates this time or are they going to leave them stable and uh, try to fight the inflation while handling growth risks at the same time in a different way?